All right, we do have some breaking news uh, now into our newsroom. Longtime California Senator Dianne Feinstein has passed. And KTVU's Greg Lee looks back on her long political career. Trailblazer, icon, political giant. Dianne Feinstein dedicated her life to public service and broke many barriers along the way. She served 30 years in the U.S. Senate, the first woman to represent California in the upper chamber, and the longest serving woman senator ever. Most of my positive energy toward this job. But her political career began decades earlier in San Francisco. The Stanford alumni was elected to the Board of Supervisors in 1969, becoming the board's first female president in 1978. That year, a shocking act of political violence. Both Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk have been shot and killed. Feinstein was at City Hall when the killings occurred. She found Supervisor Harvey Milk's body. George Moscone's murder at the hands of Supervisor Dan White put her in the mayor's office and sparked one of her biggest career fights, gun violence. I believe to this day, if Dan White didn't have a weapon, that. He wouldn't have done what he did. In 1992, she was elected to the U.S. Senate and soon pushed a federal ban on assault weapons. The 1994 landmark legislation was passed and lasted 10 years. Feinstein's been advocating for its reinstatement ever since, along with other gun safety laws. If you give people the ability to easily purchase a weapon that can be devastating to large numbers of people, some of them, will use that. She was also a leading voice in legalizing gay marriage and equal rights for the LGBTQ community, authoring the Respect for Marriage Act. Americans should be free to marry the person they love, regardless of sexual orientation or race. Discrimination was not new for Feinstein. She fought as the first woman in many roles and empowered many others. After uh, my time, a majority were women. I appointed a woman city attorney, a woman treasurer. With a front row seat to history alongside other trailblazing women. But a long way we have come in this nation. Feinstein says her biggest regret was a vote to support the Iraq war. She later took on the CIA, spearheading an investigation into interrogation techniques after 9-11. Releasing this report is an important step to restore our values and show the world that we are in fact a just and lawful society. She was unafraid to speak her mind to friends and foes. Presidents are supposed to bring people together, not drive them apart. Feinstein would passionately take on what she saw as the biggest threats facing our country. Global warming is happening. Aiming to prevent and combat wildfires and deal with the effects of drought. How many times must a man look up? In February 2022, Feinstein's husband since 1980, Richard Blum, passed after a long fight with cancer. She released this statement at the time. My husband was my partner and best friend for more than 40 years. He was by my side for the good times and for the challenges. I'm going to miss him terribly. After three decades in the Senate, Feinstein announced in February 2023 she would retire, choosing not to run for re-election in 2024. Her health had been in decline, and a bout with shingles led to a more than two-month absence from the Senate. When she returned, she faced questions and concerns about her health, but insisted on focusing on the work of solving problems and passing bills. Senator Dianne Feinstein leaves a legacy of service to the country and her community a towering figure of San Francisco and California politics whose life and career were both groundbreaking and historic. This is such a great country, and it's been factionalized and trivialized with rhetoric. We must stop that. We must come together as the great power that we are for the good of the nation and, I think, of mankind. Thank you for your support. All right, again, that was Greg Lee with the story of Senator Dianne Feinstein, the news this morning that she has yeah. passed at the age of 90 after serving 30 years in the Senate. Of course, San Francisco mayor, we will continue to look back on her career, her Indeed. legacy. Uh, Dianne Feinstein died this morning.